show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome to my review for the PlayStation Plus free games. Uh, this video we will be looking at the PlayStation 4 game Trials Fusion. Now last month I announced that I am just going to be covering the PlayStation 4 games so in a couple of weeks time there will be a video for the other PlayStation 4 free game this month, XCOM 2. Uh, but for now let's focus on Trials Fusion. Now in this game you are essentially controlling a sort of motocross style bike and the main aim of uh, the game really is to get from the starting point to the finishing line uh, as quick as you can. Uh, if you're able to do any kind of backflips and tricks and stuff on the way that will help you to earn more points and the idea behind that is the more points you are able to earn you get bronze, silver and gold awarded to you for completion of each level and with that you are then all awarded one, two or three stars. Now the importance of this is because the more stars you are able to obtain it unlocks the uh, extra levels within that sort of group or world if you like. It's not really a world but kind of easier to think in terms of uh, similar to how they split things out in um, Rayman's game that I played last month. Uh, different sort of levels within a world section. It's quite a easy way of breaking it down really. And you need those stars to unlock those levels and then a bigger amount to unlock the next world if you like. Um, so obviously if you are a few short you might need to go back to a few levels and get better scores on them to unlock those extra stars uh, with which to give yourself enough stars to unlock the next world and kind of progress through that way. Now the the bike that you are riding uh, you kind of have to control the lean backwards and forwards to make sure that you don't crash and if you do then you kind of have to start either at the very beginning or at the last checkpoint that you manage to get to and there are various ones of those throughout the level. Um, obviously this slows you down and lowers your points so the idea is to do as clean and as quick a run through as you physically can and with the right analogue stick you are able to do some tricks in there as well to give yourself a better score. And that is the game in a nutshell really pretty much all there is to it. There is um, a, a multiplayer version as well where you can play against people um, and kind of try and beat them across the line and get the best scores um, but ultimately you are just kind of repeating the same fairly short segment each time. Granted it's not on exactly the same map so the tracks do change but the basic premise is exactly the same and each level is round, takes around about one to two minutes to complete each time so it's very sort of small and segmented and it kind of feels like a waste for a PS4 game because to be honest I have seen many many games that people have played either on their phone or tablet which are basically the same thing as this usually they're free to play or they have various things locked behind paywalls but that doesn't mean that this one doesn't have because about half of the game is locked behind paywalls and when you start the uh, sort of career campaign or the single campaign they try and get you to select one of those locked out levels presumably to try and trick you into paying for the, the kind of extra levels which for I think it was five of them they were another about four or five pounds or four pounds seventy nine I think it was and then there are two sort of extremely difficult levels right at the end that are um, only unlockable when you sort of buy the extra bonus pack for seven ninety nine now I don't know whether if you pay the seven ninety nine you get those two levels and the other five beforehand or whether you have to pay the Four seventy nine for those five levels, and then another seven ninety nine for the other ones. But quite frankly, if you're having to, under normal circumstances, granted this was obviously the PlayStation Plus free version, but normal circumstances you would be paying for the game, paying for some extra levels, and then potentially paying for even more levels, and it's still basically the same thing. So that annoyed me before I even started. 
Add to that the fact that this game gets you to basically repeat the same thing again and again and again just to um, try and get you to get as many stars as possible. I found that I was able to get through about half of the allotted worlds anyway just basically holding the accelerator down and blitzing through all of the levels. Granted there were a couple of crashes in there but most of the time I was getting silver and that was enough to unlock the next levels um, and the next worlds until I got to a very annoying training level where I had to do the tricks that were on the screen and it didn't give me any option around this, I couldn't miss this level um, and it started to really really wind me up because you're on a wind tunnel going up so although you're kind of staying static because you're being pushed about differently by the wind tunnel, the bike is turning and twisting and you're never always the right way round. So it makes it very difficult to see what you're actually doing and quite difficult to perform the tricks. Probably would have been easier if they'd have just had you running from left to right on the screen almost in a loop. But no, you were kind of up in this wind tunnel and twisting and turning and back that way. and So you're trying to control that with the left stick whilst trying to do controls or trying to do tricks rather with the right stick and it's not impossible and really really annoying. So I abandoned it there thinking oh, I'll just skip to the next level and it wouldn't let me uh, because I had to complete this one first and I couldn't jump to the next world because I'd already got to the point where I needed to backtrack. Now even if you count the fact that I would have got as I said, I usually got silvers on um, my run through, so I would have unlocked the the tricks kind of level to unlock the last two levels of that world. And even if I'd have got silver on both of those, I still wouldn't have had enough stars to unlock the next world. So immediately I'm having to start playing backtrack, and this was after about three worlds, so I was probably about halfway through all the maps in total. And I'm already then having to play sort of backtracking back to the beginning of the game to get better scores, presumably putting these skills in. Because up until that point the game has given you absolutely no incentive to do any tricks or um, any kind of special bits and pieces in any of the levels to get a better score. It's not really explained that at all, I've just kind of got through as quick as I could just to get silvers in the majority of times. And sometimes I have got a couple of golds here and there, but most of the time it was silvers and a few bronzes where there were excess crashes. So you're after this kind of tricks level, you that's kind of your incentive then to go right the way back to the beginning of the game and basically play through everything that you've already done. Which well so we've got a game where half of it is locked behind a paywall. You've got essentially just one piece of gameplay, get to the end of each level as quick as you can, and when you get about halfway through that, the game kicks you right the way back to the beginning to make you complete those levels again and again and again, just to get a few extra points to get those stars to continue with the level. So the whole thing is... Well, it, it just seems like a con, really, because what you're doing is just not fun either. And as, as I said earlier, you could just buy this game or download this game on like the app store or something for free. I've seen people doing it. And what with the tricks and the, the backflips and stuff, and the fact that all the levels are really, really short, it just seems weird that it's a PlayStation 4 game. It would make more sense on the Vita, because you've got short levels that you can kind of do in 5, 10, 15 minute stints while you're playing in it and put it down and then pick it up and do a couple more levels and put it down again. It just it seemed like a, such a waste for a PlayStation 4 to be honest and it really annoyed me that this was kind of the level of the free games that they're handing out and I know that makes me sound entitled oh look, I've got a PlayStation Plus uh, subscription so they should be giving me decent free games but anything but this there was nothing to it at all there was no incentive really to keep playing on the gameplay wasn't fun um, it wasn't like one of those games where there's a bit of story to it, so it's a bit kind of meaty and you can sink your teeth into it and it might just be sort of a few years old, so that's why it's free. I remember a few years ago on, on the PlayStation 3, I got managed to get Thief and Dishonored, the first one, for free. Granted they were a few years old, but I got them completely free because they were a few years old and I still play them now and there was... Even sort of last year, the year before, 
I have still got and still play games like Rocket League because it's still fun. Granted, there have been a lot of sort of optional extra download things, but most of them are just skin packs that I don't bother with. You can still have fun with the game. Or things like this War of Mine. It It's fun to play still. The gameplay is still engaging, and it's not all locked behind paywalls, and it's not tedious after five or ten minutes of playtime and, and this really was and it's kind of annoyed me that I bothered wasting my time downloading the damn thing to be honest. It was about six gigs worth that's taken up space on my PS4 that I can't wait to delete. So now we move on to buy, try or fly. If I thought the game was good I will encourage you to buy it even at normal price. Uh, or if I thought it was okay, I will advise you to try it while it's free and see what you think of it yourself. And if I really think it's not even worth you bothering to waste any of your time with, I will tell you to fly away from the game. So, yes, here is the game, and on PlayStation Store at the moment, it is normally fifteen ninety nine. And I'm pretty sure that uh, you can probably see where I'm going with it definitely fly. Do not even bother wasting your time downloading this game and trying it out for yourself. If this sort of game is something that might interest you potentially, go on your app store, go on Google Play, whatever phone you've got or tablet that you've got, download one of those ones because they're usually made with that kind of device in mind. Um, they're a bit more user friendly, might even involve sort of tilting or spinning or moving the, the phone in some way just to make it a little bit more interesting. This really wasn't and well, it's just not worth your time to be honest. Don't even bother with it. So there we go, they were my thoughts on Trials Fusion. Um, pretty damning to be honest, I haven't kind of completely slated a game that much ever I think since I've done this and certainly not for a long time. So hopefully in a couple of weeks time when I come back with my review for XCOM 2 uh, will be a little bit more positive because well I just hate churning out really negative videos to be honest because that's not what I want to be spending my time doing. Um, so yes, hopefully that will be a bit more enjoyable on my end playing that and will be um, kind of better and more informative for you guys as well. Um, I'm also going to take this time to remind you that my retro playthrough um, will be coming to an end very very soon. I've got one more video. Um, which is kind of the finale of Metal Gear 2 and then after that I have kind of thrown it open to you guys as to what I play next. Um, we have Micro Machines V3, we have the original Gran Turismo and we have Formula 197. So please leave a comment on any of my videos as to which one of those that you would like me to play through next or alternatively you can message me or reply or anything to anything that I post on Twitter or you can drop me a message on my Facebook page as well. Um, as I said, a couple of weeks time we will have the XCOM 2 video and we'll be going through that. But until then, I've been that British guy and I will see you very soon.